All right, so today I'm going to show you how to make a uh, concentrated soup base in your Vitamix, or you could use your uh, Ninja Blender. And today it's going to be a yellow tomato with some coconut shrimp bisque. Bisque basically just means a pureed soup with a cream base. And so I think you'll like this. First thing you're going to do is you're going to get a can of, a uh, 32 ounce can of red tomatoes. I'm using yellow jarred tomatoes because I uh, am on the keto diet and yellow tomatoes have less sugar. You're going to set up your uh, Ninja, get that ready to go. Get the 32 ounces of yellow tomato into the blender. You're going to do your coconut milk, get all your liquids in there. Everything goes in. You're going to add, I'm not even going to use uh, measuring spoons. We're going to use this as a teaspoon, call this the tablespoon. So what you're going to do is add one tablespoon of onion powder. A teaspoon of thyme. And a half teaspoon of allspice. with a tablespoon of garlic powder. So you got tomato, coconut milk, onion powder, garlic powder, thyme, and allspice into your blender. And you're gonna add a teaspoon of this better than bouillon, or you could substitute this and just add a a can of uh, stock, chicken stock or vegetable stock from the grocery store will do. So once you got everything in there, you can put the lid on, start it on low, start to blend it up. To that, we're going to add eight ounces of water, once it's all blended up, we're going to get some uh, whipping cream. You don't have to add the cream, uh, but again, since I'm doing the keto thing, I add cream to everything. So I'm going to add about four ounces of whipping cream, and this is how you get the bisque. Okay, so I'm going to blend this up. This is your concentrated soup base. You could add this uh, to chicken, shrimp. Uh, it goes well with, uh, especially well with seafood. Alrighty. So now you got your concentrated soup base. What you're going to do next is grab a basic pot. Soup base goes into the pot. You can see it's really pretty thick. To that, because I'm doing keto as well, I'm going to take a whole pound of butter. This is grass-fed good butter. You could do half of that or even a quarter of that, a couple tablespoons of butter, depending on what you like. And along with that, I'm going to add one medium-sized onion. Just throw it right in the pot. Put that on the stove. 
about a medium and let it start to cook down. Once the butter's melted and the onion's going, we're gonna do this. You could add at that point a chicken, but today I've got two pounds of shrimp here, bought them at Costco, and I'm gonna do something a little different that uh, we're gonna make a shrimp stock directly in this pot. So uh, this is not something you would see typically, but I'm gonna put the whole batch, all two pounds, right into this pot and later I'm gonna strain and peel these shrimp. But the shrimp will cook down with the shell on which adds the uh, basically skipping a step and you're just making a shrimp stock right in the pot. So I'm gonna get those submerged. All right, that's part one. So you're gonna blend up your uh, ingredients, add your seasonings, add some butter, add some whipping cream, blend it up again. Uh, I added uh, two pounds of shrimp, but at this point you could put in a whole chicken uh, or whatever kind of meat you want. And uh, so you'll get this going and then I'll show you part two in a little bit.